Second of all, it makes them look more feminine. And third of all, it makes them look more youthful. So why would it make someone look more youthful? If you think about someone with a, 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 a getting, you know, we get older, we get heavier, we get saggier. So there's an upside down triangle. So the triangle starts to look like this. I want to invert it where it looks like this. Okay, so I want to reduce the size. Now, when you look at this, there is a fullness here, okay, and there's a fullness here. She grinds her teeth. There's certain reasons she's enumerated. We don't have to say that line. Why? That's the case. Not me. But we look at the fullness here, look at fullness here. So the trick here is if we break down the fullness, we have to divide how can we narrow this face in a way that looks reasonable. So if we narrow the outer face, which is where the master, you can see the mark points of the master here. The problem with that is the jowl can actually look bigger. And if I narrow the jowl, this could look bigger. So we need to balance and reduce it. Now, I oftentimes just reduce the jowl and oftentimes I just reduce the jaw. But in this case, she really benefits from having both reduced. Well, how do we do this? So we're gonna do this through Kybella. Kybella is a chemical dissolution or dissolving of the fat. So the benefit of the Kybella is it really shrinks down this fat permanently. The mistake is that a lot of people use Kybella, K-Y-B-E-L-L-A, -L -L for the neck. It's an absolute mistake. The neck does not work, and it can, in fact can make things worse. As doing a lot of facelifts, I can tell you the fat is not the issue, and the fat that is the issue oftentimes is below the muscle, and the Kybella completely misses it. So what Kybella and the neck will do, besides creating a lot of swelling, is create um, more visible banding, which is bad. So we're going to start with the Kybella, and I'm going to do this. Now the Kybella, you're going to Google, and it's going to say it leads to so much swelling and, and pain. And actually, using this lidocaine really makes it pretty painless. We're also going to do some lip enhancement. That's why she's speaking a little funny because it's a dental block. So we just put this Kybella in. I'm not going to talk for a moment so I can concentrate on the distribution. And this should barely hurt. Next Kybella. Hurt. It's not too bad, right? No. Yeah. Everything I do is pretty painless. I mean, it's not 100% painless, but it's as close as I can get. Other places is like torture chamber, which, no. is, which is not the case here. Have you been elsewhere to do things? No. Good. So she has been spared. I, I, I asked around. A Good. Lot. You were a spare child abuse is what I call yeah, it. Yeah, I was. <laughs> so this really is not painful. Kybella, if you've had Kybella and you're just like, God, this doctor like lying to me. It really does not hurt. I would tell you it's the method I do it, it doesn't hurt. Now, Kybella definitely does look swollen for the next few days, and we're shooting this live during the Kybella phase, uh, during the, excuse me, the um, uh, COVID time, so hopefully the mask will cover for the next few days. Damn. But it should look better and better in the next few weeks, okay? So I'm just putting a little bit in the right places. That little shaking is to minimize discomfort, okay? It's not that my hands are, are not steady. It's a little trick. So, we've done that. We're gonna do the, now we're gonna do jaw Botox, okay? What that's gonna do is the master muscle, and the key is I measured and marked everything before I did the lip block, and the master here is actually slightly overlapping this, so this one's farther back, and the master of the Botox is really key that you know you have someone that knows what they're doing with injection because you can put it too far interior you can have an effect on the smile. So don't worry, I know how to put this in. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in here, and it's a little bit overlapping the uh, area where I'm I've put in the uh, kybella, and it's not a big deal because the master and the gel actually overlap on this side, and the other side, which is interesting, they actually can you see how this overlaps the kybella? should not be an issue at all. But look at this, it's actually farther back. And so how do I know this? I, I feel the master when she's biting down. I can't do this with a dental block for the lips now, so I always have everything out sitting up. Bite down as best you can though. Right now? Yeah, a little bit. See, she barely can bite down. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, I've already marked everything in advance. Marking everything in advance is important. She should, you don't be able to feel that, right? There's no, no. So that is not even my block. The only area that's numb is right here. Mm -hmm. So all of these areas are not within the numbing area, but good technique means it's painless. 
If you try to get John Botox elsewhere, it's really painful. Here, it's not painful. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some lip enhancement, okay? The trick here is my principles of lip enhancement is painlessness, short recoveries, and natural. So those are three things I want to do. How do I do this? First of all, I do a carbocane block. It's a block that only lasts typically about 30 minutes to an hour. There's no epinephrine, so your heart doesn't race. And there's many ways to do uh, lip blocks. And the problem with lip blocks, can you look please? Uh, junior, is that they oftentimes try to do what's called inflorable lip block. Hurts like heck. That lip block was pretty painless, right? Pretty painless. So the lip block was pretty painless, and that's really the trick. It's almost painless, completely painless. And I've got really a lot of techniques. You want a short-lasting block that doesn't make your heart race. But if you make it painless, the patient will come back and do more lips. If you make it absolute death torture, like someone up sliding their face with a sledgehammer, then you're not going to come back to you. They're not going to come back. Cannula techniques in a very hypervascular area is important to minimize um, uh, uh, bruising and, and, and swelling. So the trick here is a lot of people think the upper lip is the key. Now the upper lip is the key when you're 20 years old. But as you start to mature a little bit, when you put too much in the upper lip, it looks crazy. Here's the other trick. Out here is an area that everyone says put fillers here. But when the mouth is open, I notice that it looks like this. It has this bulge coming down that looks unnatural. So I focus it really on the center. You also, I'm not a big fan of borders. They look crazy, okay? And I try to create a little division. So a little center and two points. Well, all we need to make this look amazing. So with a cannula, and most times you need a needle, but you actually don't in this situation. I just want to test this side. It's still a little bit. I just want to make sure. Still sharp or no? No uh, Still sharp. Not yet sharp so, right there. Okay. So she's still a little bit sharp there. This part has all been done. So for some reason I can't get that block, but it's not a big deal. This is numb? That is numb. This is numb? I can feel that. This is sharp now? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is sharp? No. Okay. So this side is sharp. So what I've got to do is some tricks, all right? So I've got some tricks up my sleeve, vibration here. So she somehow can't block the other side too, too well, but no big deal. Not too bad? No. So what I do is I go from the block zone over. And so that's a little dirty secret of how to get a person that's, I'm very good at my down blocks. I, I can nail almost every single person, but in rare cases, I just have a hard time on one side. So I do a little secret. I go from the side that's blocked to the side that's not blocked and slowly pass it across, and then she should. I feel nothing. Yeah, that's good. So for all those ladies out there who are getting killed and tortured by lip injections, you shouldn't be. It should be pretty painless, which is... And I saw the needle, <laughs> and I feel nothing. Good. So this looks very sexy, okay? But it doesn't look stupid, all right? There's a <laughs> fine line between sexy and stupid. Every day I see someone walking here with stupid, okay? And it just requires good taste. My God, please have taste, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm just begging you. If you don't have taste, don't come and see me. Mm -hmm. right? You can go down the street to tasteless.com. It looks gross. Just <laughs> vomitusnightmare.com. I don't want to do that. Okay, we're going to put some in here. <clears throat> no pain? No, not at all. So it's weird. This is actually a good demonstration of someone I didn't quite block on the other side, and I can literally knock out 98% of the blocks, but I still was able to do it without pain. So I'm gonna slide across, leave a little cleft in the middle. No pain here, right? Nothing at all. So painlessness is the most important thing besides naturalness. A lot of people say, well, I'll suffer for some lips, but you know what, why? <laughs> if you can go to, you know the number one reason people don't come back to the doctor, pain. I have seen people walk out like, oh, yeah. and this, I, I feel nothing. Google how bad Kybella hurts. It doesn't <laughs> I hurt. I feel nothing. Okay? <laughs> so this already looks darn pretty. You don't have to go crazy, okay? Lips are not about size. It's about shape. I can teach you one thing. You don't need crazy size lips, all right? I know we live in Dallas. And most of my patients I want to throw up when I see their lips done poorly. And I will warn you, when you come in here, if you look crazy, I'm going to tell you. Okay? I can't hold my tongue. It's mm -hmm. craziness drives me most insane. So this looks great. I'm going to put a little bit more on the top. But really the art of this is not too much. Really not too much. 
just a little bit at the bottom. See how many people at the bottom just now? What's well, not happening? Oh. She's even know she doesn't even know where I have no idea where it's at. None of my testimonials, these videos are paid for, okay? No sponsored models or anything else. She looks like a model here. So this is this is all you need, okay? Please, I beg you, if you go to someone tasteless and painful, just don't even do your lips. Alright? It's so nasty. So I've got a little product left on a third of the syringe. I'm gonna go and just put a little bit of uh, fillers around the mouth. So I, I'm gonna do something interesting here. The trick with folds, okay, is people overdo folds, way overdone. The trick is a colleague of mine in Los Angeles noted that the canine starts to recede as we get older. When you fill the canine, except for one person who has overly a parentheses line, which she does not have, that needs filler here. Otherwise, if you just put a little bit up here, it actually goes such a long way to look better. So let me see if you guys can see it. Sometimes you lose dimensionality when you're on here. But a cannula is so much safer here too. This cannula is blunt, 25 gauge. What it does, you don't feel any pain, right? Nothing. So the cannula up here, there's a labial artery that is risky when you're using a needle this high up. And guess what, I don't use a needle this high up. So this is painless and looks scary. This long thing looks absolutely exactly. scary. But it's not sharp. Look, I'm stabbing myself. Ouch. No, I'm not hurting myself. Okay? But I don't know if you see straight. Look straight on. Can you see that this sign looks younger than this sign? Can you see that? Okay? That's, you know how little I put in? That was an, a tenth of a cc. Tenth of a milliliter. People are wasting too much money doing stupid things. Putting a bucket in the fold. You don't need a bucket in the fold. You need a good, perfectly placed amount. So, you know, my most insulting thing last year was a patient that said, Dr. Lamb, I found the Jupiter for $100 less. And I said, right, you know, not only safety and pain, look at that, that's a tenth of a syringe. Tenth of the syringe per fold. It's changed the architecture. Now look, I have how little left. This is about just less than, less than 0.2%, 0 0.2 cc's. You see how the bone is exposed? I can't fill the whole thing. It's not a line. It's this depression right here. If you look at that little depression, I put a little bit right here. It's not going to get rid of it. Remember, I'm only putting right now about 0.1 cc's into a very discreet area. It's not going to be revolutionary. But the art of a filler is to look, look for holes, look for little shadow point transition points. If you think of the mandible bone and it transitioning into a hollow, if I can just put a little bit here, your brain doesn't see bone. When your brain doesn't see bone, it sees youth. You see soft tissue, and youthfulness is about a soft tissue envelope. So I don't know if you can see that on this. The shadows may be hard to see, but there's a, there's a softness. Now, this clearly could use, you know, half a cc. But what I'm trying to show you is with very, very little product, it can already make things look softer. Now, it's beginning to hard to see because this is swelling a little bit, so it's hard to read that. But this should be pretty darn painless. So these lips to me look stunning, okay? These lips to me look stunning. Now, if you don't like these lips, and these lips are too subtle for you, please don't come to my office, okay? I'm, no, I'm serious. No, I'll tell you the one thing. I tell them, this is, I'm very blunt with my patients. I tell them all the time, sure. I appreciate tasteful patients, okay? You're gonna pick me as much as I'm gonna pick you, all right? My big passion is art. Everything in life is about design and art for me. Color, line, all my paintings I've done. Logo design, everything. I am beyond appreciative when a patient sends me a patient because they're trusting me. But I always say the one patient I do not want referred to me is someone that has no taste, that looks insane, that thinks they look good and wants more of the same. They cannot come to me because we're going to have a fight. Because I will not allow them to leave looking crazy or they're just going to leave. I can't handle it, okay? But if you want to look natural, I can help you. And the thing that I always tell my patients is that people always say, look, I'm, I'm afraid to look unnatural. And I tell my patients, your standard is far lower than mine. Because I actually see unnatural more than you do. I had a lady that came to me from East Texas who I, I said, yeah, we have got to dissolve your lips. She says, I don't care about dissolving my lips. I dissolved her lips after she had forced consented and she was miserable for a month. She said, I, I felt sad. 
But a month later, she started seeing all her friends look crazy. And she said, oh my God, thank God. And my life, I, started, I didn't realize it looked crazy. And I'm about to do a podcast that talks about every day that you look crazy or fake is a wasted day of your life. Because if you say, well, look, lip filler is going to go away. I can just, I, I paid for it, okay? That's the craziest excuse. I paid for it. It's got to stay. And, and guess what? I have seen 20 years later a, a syringe of breast in there. So how, how do you know that, Dr. Adam? Because I do a lot of lip surgeries, a lot of lip corrections. I was operating on this lip in 2018 and wrestling squirted out. So I said, hey, you just put this temporary filler in. I'm about to do surgery on you. This is not good. She said, I, I never had wrestling after that. I said, look, I know what silicone looks like. I know what fat looks like. I know what aquamid looks like. I know what vortex looks like. You have wrestling. You have wrestling or Jupiter or some hyaluronic acid. She said, no, I, haven't. I don't have that, Dr. Lamb. So she finally said, I had it in 2018, that's 2000, I'm sorry, 1998, 20 years ago, I one syringe in Europe before it was FDA cleared in the United States. She remembered that. So that is still there. I had a lady that had a bump in her lip, and she said, Dr. Lamb, what is this? I said, have you ever had fillers in Europe? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once I had, I had a Restylane um, in my lips seven years ago. It's not, this, this can't be there. So I... I said, it is. I did a dental block, dissolved it. It was gone in three hours. I had a guy come from me in Chicago, weird looking bumps under his eyes, and he went to five doctors. They all said, look, it can't be Jupiter because it was five years ago, one syringe. I dissolved it three hours later, it was gone. So if you have fake looking parts of your face, let me just get rid of it. It's better to start with a clean slate and move forward. I really want to help you look your best, and the first and foremost thing is looking natural. So, Painlessness, you saw this was, I mean, she's not getting paid to say this, not painful, right? No, I felt nothing, I mean, barely anything. Paid. I, no, I don't think she's not getting paid. Discount even. No discount, <laughs> sorry, she has to have a charge more for this, I'm just oh. joking. <laughs> no, 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 this goes, this goes. no, no, she's, yes, she's not getting discounted, and she's, you know, none of my stuff is discounted, none of my stuff is, uh, is paid testimonials, they're all genuine, they're nice enough patients to do this. But, uh, but painlessness is key, naturalness is key, and minimizing recovery, and good design. So these are things that are very advanced. Kybella for jaw lines, most people don't even get that. I do it all the time. Botox for jaw reduction, no one gets that. They're doing it for wrinkles, which I do as well. I do fillers under the eyes, very few people do that. I do that with a cannula. And then lips, natural, no crazy borders, and painlessness. So hopefully this little video gets you to understand a little bit about my philosophy and technique.